Hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing really well. We are going to do a Twin Flame Collective reading. I haven't done one in a little while, so we're going to see what's going on in the collective. All right, so before I begin, if you wanted to book a personalized reading with me, head over to healandascendtorow.com. All of the information is posted down below. I offer extended and same-day readings, okay? But let's jump right into it. So as always, we're going to start off with the Divine Masculine and just see where the Divine Masculine is currently at at this time. All right, so what is going on with the Divine Masculine within the collective? So please understand that this may or may not resonate with you at this time, but these readings are timeless. So if it doesn't resonate today, it might resonate next week, a month from now, two months from now. So be sure to always check back. I'm sure there are other readers who are going to be catching your story at this time as well. So if it's not me, it will definitely be someone else. Okay. So let's see. What is going on with the Divine Masculine at this point within the Collective Spirit? Ooh. All right. So we have New Direction. Divine Masculines are moving away from things. Yeah, definitely. Moving away from things that no longer serve them. Okay. And... Finding something new here with the spring card. This is about renewing the energy, finding a new path. So for some of you, your masculine could be walking away from a soulmate because we have this new direction. We have the soulmate card. Oops, we have this coming through. Okay. So yeah, so for some of you, your masculine could be walking from a soulmate. I'm seeing here at the spring card. This is about renewal. And we have spring and we have new, the word new. So there's a renewal here. There's a new energy coming through from the masculine. So like I said, some of them could be walking away from a soulmate, um, a partnership that they've been in. For some of you, it could even be a work partnership that your masculine has been in. For some of you, it's a romantic partnership. So let's take a look. So what is going on with the masculine in the headspace at this time? So this is just in general. So what's going on with the masculine in general? And then we'll take a look at how he's feeling towards the feminine. All right, so, so what's going on with divine masculine in general at this time? What's going on with the divine masculine in general at this time? The three of swords. Yeah, see, this is what I'm definitely feeling here. There's healing going on. There's a lot of healing. So I, I'm really feeling that your masculines, if, for those of you who know your masculine was dealing with one could be a karmic partner, but for a lot of you, it could have been a soulmate. You know, there also are karmic soulmates where, you know, you do share a soul connection with someone. It might not be someone that you're supposed to spend your entire life with, but there's someone that you're supposed to meet in your lifetime. And this, this was a connection that your masculine was in. And I feel like they've now turned their back on this. They're walking in a new direction and they're starting to heal from this situation. Okay. So there's a lot of healing going on for the masculine. There's still some heartbreak here, but there is healing because they're moving to a newer energy. Okay. We have the two of swords reversed. What else do we have for the masculine? What's going on with the masculine and the headspace spirit in general? The hangman. Yeah. There's still a bit of a stagnant energy with the two of swords and the hangman. And the Empress reversed, okay? So what I'm definitely seeing here, guys, is that your masculine is still a little bit indecisive about this decision that they've made to walk away. For some of you, this could be that they're still in the process of making this decision and they're at a crossroads as to whether or not they should walk away from their soulmate. It's really going to depend on whatever timeline you're on when it comes to the collective here because it's, it's not going to be everything happens on the same day. But I'm getting here that there is this process of healing, but there's a bit of indecisiveness about did I make the right decision or am I making the right decision? So with the hangman here, there's a stuck energy. There's still a bit of a codependency on this other person. So your masculine is still having to overcome some attachment to this soulmate or this um, this karmic partner, whatever it is for, for your, your situation specifically. Okay, so there's still a bit of attachment that's keeping the masculine stuck. But I do feel for the most part, your masculine is turning away. They're heading in a new direction. They're wanting renewal. They're wanting some new energy. But there's a stagnant energy that still needs to be overcome here. <clears throat> Sorry, throat chakra. So now let's take a look. How is the masculine feeling? Sorry. Wow, guys. <clears throat> Towards the feminine specifically. Okay, so the, the masculine could definitely be having some issues communicating with the feminine. Because as you just saw, or as you just heard, my throat chakra really wanted to close up on me. Really giving me some trouble. Alright, so how is the masculine? How is the 
masculine currently feeling towards divine feminine spirit. All right, so how your divine masculine is currently feeling towards you. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay? And we have let your friends help you. Nice. So, yeah, I'm just getting an energy where the masculine is really wanting to open up to the feminine, is really thinking about the feminine in a way of wanting to commit long term. But at the same time, too, there's that stagnant energy of the past. It's like, you know, you've closed one door, you're heading in a new direction, but there's still that attachment to the past. So it's almost as if the masculine is walking into a new door, but still has his foot in the old door. So he's trying to seek help from other people as to what to do about the situation with the feminine. All right, so how your divine masculine is currently feeling towards you. So definitely wanting some form of commitment here. Well, let's see what else we have because I'm seeing that there still is some healing that the masculine is doing from his past, okay? So this could be why he's looking for help from others. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, we're getting the Empress reversed again. Okay, so there's still some there's still some attachment coming through, guys. And I mean, this is probably the the biggest struggle when it comes to the twin flame connection is this is not a connection built on attachment. If there is any attachment, this connection will not come together into union. So I'm seeing here at the Empress reverse, there's still a bit of an attachment here. Um, and I feel like the masculine is is really trying to work through this. With the Queen of Cups, the masculine is seeing the feminine as very nurturing, very loving, seeing the feminine in a very positive light, but also seeing the feminine as a bit mysterious right now with the High Priestess. So kind of feeling that she is maybe not showing her cards, not showing her feelings, not showing her emotions, a bit more secretive than usual, which is making the masculine feel, feel a little unconfident. Okay, and I think that's also why we're getting this feeling of attachment here. I'm actually going to clarify why we have the Empress Reverse, just because it's the second time this has come through. The strength card, okay? Yeah, I feel like the masculine is really trying to break free from any attachment, any codependencies. And again, the Empress Reverse could also talk about any codependencies or addictions as well. So really overcoming anything that's holding the masculine back here from having a healthy life and a healthy relationship. I feel that the passion is definitely here, but the masculine is holding back whatever passion he currently has for the feminine with the Knight of Wands reverse. So he is really reeling back any passion that he seems to have towards the feminine, okay? He's not feeling completely confident about this situation right now, so he's asking friends for help. He's asking friends what to do, but he does see that he could commit or he wants to elevate the level of commitment that he has towards the feminine. So what is your masculine's message at this time? So what is the Divine Masculine's message for the Divine Feminine at this time, Spirit? Yeah, see, I feel safer in the silence. So this is what I was definitely picking up on is the masculine is holding back right now. He feels safer not saying anything. He feels safer maybe retreating from the connection at this time. And again, I do feel that it's because that he's still healing from something from the past. And it says here, I'm not the same person that you remember. So your masculine wants you to know that he has gone through a process of change. He's gone through a process of transformation. Through walking away from this soulmate or through walking away from whatever wasn't serving him, he's learned some major lessons, but he's still not feeling necessarily confident enough to approach the feminine. He still feels it would be safer for him to stay in the silence. Um, let's get one clarifier on this, okay? So what is it really that's holding the masculine back? Um, where he feels safer in the silence. So let's see, guys, what we have here. Yeah, okay, exactly. He's afraid that the feminine would cut him out. He's afraid of the feminine's reaction if he were to communicate. Um, in the past, maybe you were a bit harsh with your words, or maybe he knows that he's done something to you in the past where if he were to come towards you and communicate, you would just cut him um, out, or you would say something very harsh, or maybe you would, you would do something in a way where he doesn't know if he can handle that. So he feels safer saying nothing and holding back this passion, even though there is this emotion, and even though he does seem to want a form of commitment because he has walked away from something else. But I'm, to be honest, I'm feeling that the masculine still has some healing to do from the past. And I think that's also a factor in why he's holding back as well.
okay? All right. So let's see. So what's going on with the feminine at this time? Okay, so the Divine Feminine, we have Contemplation, Unawakened, we have Fear, and the answer is yes. Okay, so the Divine Feminines are really in this place of um, maybe overthinking, contemplating things, thinking very heavily about the situation. There's a lot of fear here for the Feminines, um, and that could be because there is some unawakened aspects that they're still working through. So with the Unawakened uh, card here, I feel like the Feminine is still maybe not seeing things completely clearly yet. So there's still an aspect of the feminine that needs to be awakened. And I think really it has to do with eliminating whatever this residual fear is. Because remember, awakening is really about the unlearning of fear and the realization of love, okay? So the fastest way to awaken is really to find a way to overcome these fears or to realize that your fears are not real. Of course in miracles. All right, so what's going on with the feminine? We have the Ten of Wands, the Judgment card reverse, yeah. So the feminine is still holding on to some doubts, um, some burdens, some regrets, some sadness. Wow, a lot of, I'm getting a lot of past energy, like holding on to the past. Heavy, heavy past energy, okay? Yeah, so with the Ten of Wands here, I'm seeing here that you Divine Feminines are really feeling burdened by something. You're feeling overwhelmed. Some of you could be taking on a lot in your day-to-day -day life and just feeling like you have a lot to carry. You have a lot of people maybe depending on you. Um, there is some sort of insecurities or doubt that's, or doubt that's coming through. And that could be why we have the unawakened. It's really about breaking free from your self-doubts, from your insecurities, and overcoming this fear because there's a fear also of getting hurt. Okay, five of cups. I feel like there's a fear of getting hurt or a fear of feeling sadness, not wanting to feel a sense of regret. Okay, um, with the with the ace of swords here, I do feel that the divine feminines are wanting clarity on the situation. They're seeking clarity. Um, they're seeking truth at this time. Uh, that's why there's a lot of contemplation going on because they can't be in this energy of feeling weighed down by their thoughts, weighed down by indecisiveness or weighed down by um, this feeling of not being sure of what's going on or what's going to happen for the future, okay? Now, it doesn't mean we're supposed to know what happens for the future, but obviously you Divine Feminines are wanting clarity on what is going on in your situation at this time, okay? But there's some fear about getting hurt again. I feel like there's fear about getting hurt because some of you have experienced a lot of deep regret when it comes to this connection and you're not wanting to go back to that. So there is a fear of going back to the past here, okay? So let's see how you are feeling towards your masculine in the heart. So how is the divine feminine currently feeling towards the divine masculine in the heart's of the spirit? How is the divine feminine currently feeling? chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction so I feel that the feminine is really still yeah and passion the feminine is really feeling a strong passion and chemistry with the masculine at this time okay so let's take a look so masculine so just to recap the divine masculine is definitely thinking about a commitment but is still healing is still doubting whether or not he should move forward he feels safer in the silence because he's worried that the Divine Feminine will cut him out, okay? The Feminine is still overcoming fear, overcoming the past, still feeling a lot of self-doubt, some regrets about the past, maybe about her own actions. So how is the Divine Feminine feeling towards the Masculine? The Nine of Wands reversed in the heart space. Yeah, there's, I don't feel like you guys are communicating. And the Ace of Pentacles, the Divine Feminine is not necessarily... Yeah, we're getting a lot of fear, guys. The moon. 
So in the heart space, there's a lot of fear here. And with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, there's definitely maybe an uncertainty about commitment at this time. So there is a lot of passion here. Um, but I do feel like the Divine Feminine has kind of, sort of has a wall up. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands reversed. So there's a lack of communication. The feminines could be holding back their passion because obviously there is passion here, but I'm seeing that it's being withheld from the masculine at this time and it's not being communicated, okay? I also just feel like there's a lack of communication just in general towards the masculine. Um, and with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the feminine is, doesn't seem to be necessarily sure about this commitment or is kind of uncertain about stability with the masculine so it could be wanting the masculine to approach with stability and commitment but is not necess necessarily sure if that's going to happen okay i want to see why the moon is here because i'm getting there's a lot of heavy fear yeah there's a fear that the masculine is going to be dishonest is what i'm sensing here okay we have the six yeah exactly so with the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords reversed, this is about clarity. This is about truth. This is about equal give and take and honesty. I'm getting across the board a word of integrity here. So the feminine is really fearing the integrity of the masculine at this point in time. And the reason why I see that coming through is because the feminine has dealt with so much uncertainty, lies, manipulation, deception throughout the connection. I'm feeling here and throughout the readings I've done throughout the collective, this has been a common theme, is the feminine is really questioning, is this, has this changed? So there's fear around the masculine. Has the masculine actually changed? Because we do have the masculine saying, I'm not the same person that you remember, but the feminine I'm seeing here is really questioning, is that true? Because maybe she's not seeing the proof quite yet, okay? So based on that, I'm just gonna grab one more deck and we're gonna pull some future cards for this reading if it resonates with you. Um, however, if you wanted to book a personalized reading, if this is resonating with you and you wanted to look at your specific situation, then you can book a personalized reading down below. My link is Heal and Ascend Tarot. Um, but for the general collective, we're going to pull some cards here and see. So will the Divine Masculine be taking any action towards the Divine Feminine within the next few weeks? Okay, so what do we see happening here, Spirit? Will the Divine Masculine be taking any action towards the Feminine within the next few weeks? Okay, no. I don't feel the masculine is going to be coming towards you. And the reason why I say that is there's still a bit of an internal conflict. Um, we're getting this Knight of Wands reversed again. So this is the masculine feeling the passion but holding back because there's still a lot of confusion. There's still a lot of um, uncertainty or a lack of clarity here. I feel that the masculine is trying to remain in a very secretive energy because we have the High Priestess here. This is someone who's trying to almost hide. I'm getting a hiding energy. So I feel like the masculine could even be hiding from the feminine. I know that sounds kind of weird, but to be honest, it makes sense with the I feel safer in the silence. Mentally, your masculine can't stop thinking about you. The six of swords reverse. This is my card of I can't stop thinking about you. So in the headspace, the masculine really can't get you out of his head, but he's also having an internal conflict right now at this point in time. And I feel like until he's established a sense of clarity in his mind, he won't be taking this action towards the feminine because I'm getting no cards of action at this time. Um, so there's still some clarity that needs to um, be had here on the masculine's part before he takes the action towards the feminine. Now, of course, this is a general reading. So that's why I say here, if you, this reading has resonated with you and you feel your situation is a little bit different, book a personalized reading because I always pull some future cards at the very end for a two to three week basis to see, is, is there gonna be any shift? Is the masculine gonna pull or take any action towards the feminine, okay? But this is what I have for the general collective. So guys, I do really hope that this reading was helpful. If you wanted to book, again, down below, I'm sending you so much love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.